Hey guys, welcome back. For today's video, I am gonna be showing you guys my version of a natural cat eye look. So it's what I am wearing right now. I love this eyeshadow. I feel like it looks so natural, but it still gives you that, you know, that cat eye look. I love it so much, but yeah, if you guys want to know how I achieved this look, then just make sure you guys keep on watching. Hey guys, so obviously by what you guys saw in the intro, today I am going to be showing you guys my, my version of a soft, more natural cat eye look. I obviously already have my base done. Uh, I don't have my eyebrows done. I'll do that after the eyeshadow. I just really like getting in there with the eyeshadow and not messing up, you know, not being afraid of messing up my eyebrows so i just do them after but yeah so um the eyeshadow palette i am going to be using is my mario master mats palette honestly these eyeshadows are pretty much in every single eye eyeshadow palette i kind of had like a like a brain fart i was like uh what am i talking about but yeah so these are like you know regular colors i just really really like this eyeshadow palette because i mean everything you need is right here and plus the formula of the shadows is just so perfect it just blends so easy so obviously you know if it blends easier i love that but okay so we are going to start off with a fluffy brush pretty like you know fluffy brush and i am going to go in with these two colors so this top one right here and then this one right here so I'm gonna mix, mix both of them and then that those two colors are gonna go in my crease. And of course, we can't forget to wing it out. I love winging it out. And plus for this eyeshadow look, you cannot have to do it. So, I mean, you know, it's a cat eye look, so it has to be winged out. Okay, so something like this. So now we go in with the other eye and same thing those two colors but okay now that we have our eyes like this so the eyeshadow all over the crease and winged out we are gonna go back in the palette and now we are gonna go in with this shade right here this top one and with that i'm gonna grab this like smaller denser brush you guys can see it's pretty dense and all that color is already on there because this is literally the Brush, the only thing I use this brush for. Uh, this is a Real Techniques by Sam and Nick. Oh, I didn't know that. Shading brush. So I just go in this with this. I just pack it on a little bit. Um, another reason why I love these eyeshadows is because they're so pigmented. Uh, like they're really pigmented. So um, here I'm just gonna do like a shadow wing so i don't know how to explain it but like you guys will see right now so see this and then right here i'm gonna do like a little like curve up i'm gonna grab more shadow and just pack it on a little more so you guys can see obviously we're gonna blend it out but right now i'm just packing the color on okay so you guys see the shape outer v that's what we're doing so now i go and do the ne the the next eye i do the other eye and okay before i pack in more color i am gonna go in with a small fluffy brush this is the real techniques i love real techniques brushes they're so bomb um essential crease brush so it's like fluffy but like thinner and smaller and that i'm just gonna go i'm not gonna move it i am just gonna go right over the shadow and just blend it out okay so now that it's a little bit more blended out sometimes i like to go a little like in a little more just so it's like you know more defined so i go back in with the same color same brush that we were using and just pack it on right on top I don't go that high up this time. I just kind of focus it like where I want it to be. Just like a small V. So like this. And again, I just go in with a fluffy brush and blend it out. Okay, so we have something like this. Let me close my eye a little bit so you guys can see a little better. So, Okay, 
that's what we have. Now I'm going to go in with a smaller brush. So it's still going to be a dent, little dense brush. It's just going to be a little bit smaller. Where is it? Right here. This is the Real Techniques smudge brush. Like this. And we are going to go in with a little bit darker shade. So this brown right here. This one. Just grab a little bit. And pack it on exactly where we did everything else. So like the outer B. So now I'm just going to go back in with that small brush we were fluffing everything out with. <laughs> we were blending everything out with. And I'm going to go in and blend it. I, I try to blend the top a little more than the bottom. I like that the bottom, it just seems more like harsh. Obviously the top doesn't look as good if it's like that. So I make sure all of this is blended okay so now we have this and honestly this is what i always like to just leave so now i am just gonna go in the bottom lash line and for those colors i am just gonna be using this shade right here so this one and then afterwards i'll just kind of try to connect it with a little darker shade so for that i'm gonna go in with this brown but right now i'm just using this one right here so a little bit, same brush that we use for the top. And I just smoke it out. Oh, okay, now that we have this, I'm just gonna go in with this very, very small brush. This is by um, Morphe and Ariel. Uh, I don't know, it's A18. It's literally like a super, super small brush. Look at this. Yeah, super thin, super small. So with this brush, I'm going to go in with this darker brown that I said I was going to go in with. So I just grabbed the tiniest amount, literally like almost nothing. And then I just kind of do a small, a small wing <laughs> and kind of just bring it a little bit down just so it seems more connected and more blended. But yeah, so now this is what we have on this side. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do it on the other side. Honestly, the look can just finish off here, but I like adding a little bit of like white shadow right here and like on my lid. So for that, I'm gonna be using a flat brush. I just need to find one. Okay, well, um, I don't, I just got this brush, this brush set from Mexico, so I have no idea if it's a brand or anything, but just a regular flat brush. And I am going to go in with this shade, this one, the little tan one, and then the little pink one. So I'm going to mix both of these. And that's going to go on our lid. Pack it on and then just to like make it a little bit brighter. Also with this with the shadow, you can just clean up if you messed up or, you know, if something doesn't look crisp and you want it to look really crisp, you can just do it with this. Okay, so something like this. This is what we are looking like. I love it. I love it. I love it. So good. Okay, well, now that we have the eyeshadow done, I'm just going to go off camera and do the rest of my makeup. So my eyebrows, curl my lashes, apply mascara, and do my lips. And then I will be back to show you guys the finished look. So yeah, be right back. And we are back with the completed look. So this is what we have. This is what we ended up with. It looks so good. Yes, I did get mascara on my lips, so ignore that. But everything else looks perfect. I mean, like, look at the eyeshadow. It just makes it seem kind of like, I don't know. Like, it's not, like, strong, like, bold, like, there in your face. But it just seems like... Like the shadows just kind of make a natural shadow and it just makes my eye look a little bit more winged out. Obviously, if you guys want to apply lashes, you know, more in like the outer corner to make it more cat eye-ish, then that's all on you guys. It would probably look so cute. Um, for me though, I prefer not to wear lashes. I love it like this. I love how it looks. So yeah, this is it for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed watching today's video, then please make sure to give this video a like. And if you're not already, then please make sure to subscribe. You guys obviously know where the button is. Thank you guys so much for watching me and keeping up. And I really hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.